Hello, this is a test for the USDX uh, with the WA2EBYHF ramp. Now, this is one of uh, my other uh, USDX which I'm testing. Uh, the other one was uh, not this design. Uh, this is the USDX sandwich and uh, it is meant for eight bands, but I'm using uh, three bands. So uh, what I've done, I've, I have uh, successfully uh, uh, run this amp with the USDX with uh, QRP power uh, power from one between one to three watts so <coughs> around uh, on seven megahertz I'm giving it around uh, three watts around two watts I'm giving it to uh, on 20 meters and uh, around one watt uh, I'm giving it on 15 meter band so that is the input what I'm giving. So I'll show you uh, how much power I'm deriving on all the three bands uh, that I'm using. So uh, the first band that I will test is the 40 meter band. So uh, the switch is now the filter switch is on 40 meter band and I am on uh, 7 megahertz 7074 uh, LSD. So let's see how much power I'm getting. Uh, uh, the needle has crossed 20 watts so I'll put it on 200 watts and see now uh, 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 around 30 watts uh, hello CQ 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 Victor uniform 3 sugar uniform alpha testing testing USDX sandwich with WA2 EBY HF amp. Hal, hal. So you see, I'm getting around <clears throat> 30 watts, 30 watts uh, output on 7 megahertz. And uh, now I'll move forward to uh, I'll move forward to 20 meter band. So here I am uh, switch the filter for 20 meter band, and now I need to switch the USDX also for 20 meter band. So here's it. So I'm going to switch it to 20 meter band, okay? So I've switched it to 20 meter band and now I've also switched it to USB. So let's see on 20 watts what I'm getting. Uh, uh, it's crossed 20 watts. So let us go on 200 watts. Uh, 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 around 25 watts plus 25 watts plus maybe tomorrow I'll put up this digital meter and I'll get a better idea as to how much power it is but I see that it is around 25 watts or something so I'm on the 200 watts range let's try again uh, 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 so that's it around 25 watts 25 to 30 watts so now let me switch it on uh, to 15 meter band 15 meter band okay I've switched the filter for 15 meter band I need to change the band also so let's change the band okay here go so I have set it now to 15 meter band 20, uh, 21 megahertz so let us just transmit here on this spot frequency 21.074 let us give it a try out here and see how much power I am getting out here oh let's try on 20 watts first uh, 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 uh. so that's it it's giving around 10 watts because uh, the input power is not more than 1 watt and again it is dropping to uh, with 3 dB pad it is dropping to half watt so I am only giving in half watt uh, to this 21 uh, meter band uh, so to the uh, uh, what do you call it to the WA2 EBY HF amp on 21 megahertz I am giving around 1 watt that is decreasing to half a watt so I am getting around uh, around 10 watts or something on this so if I adjust the attenuator and uh, bring it down still so either I have a, a variable attenuator and I can adjust it so I can give uh, 
less attenuation and uh, give more power to it then i could increase the drive to uh, the output final output i could be getting around to 30 watts uh, so sorry not 30 watts but around 20 watts is certainly uh, around 20 watts i presume i can get if i adjust the attenuator inside this uh, ebi amp because i have a 3 db attenuator out here so let me again go back to 40 meters and give you a final test uh, how much i'm getting okay so i'm going back to 40 meter band so again let me change the band okay so <clears throat> i am on 40 meter band again lsb so let's see uh let's cross 20 watts hal 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 around 30 watts around 30 watts hello secure 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 this is a test this is a test for usdx sandwich dl2 man sdr with the wa2 ebi hf amp hal hello hello so that is it it's even 30 watts so thank you very much uh, for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it i would like you all to subscribe to the channel and uh, give a like to my video and i hope uh, will bring you much more videos so that uh, you can know what kits we are bringing out within kits and you can be in touch with the latest developments what are happening at our end so this was a contribution to show that the WA2 EBY amp works this IRF510 works quite good uh, with this uh, uh, USDX but I had to put uh, uh, put a matching coil inside the, the transceiver so otherwise earlier it was uh, the MOSFET was going QRT but now it is not so I am at least satisfied now that this amp is working okay with USDX so thanks thanks for watching this video do subscribe thank you and do give a like Thanks, 73s.